Hello my dear friends, I'm Ksenia. Welcome to my channel St. Petersburg Me. As we all know, uh, last week uh, all Russians, all ordinary Russians um, faced a lot of sanctions from the Western countries, uh, like kind of blocking Russian economy and um, every people, every person who uses brain uh, for thinking, uh, we all know that uh, after this we will face a very huge crisis and in this video I would like to show you how ordinary Russians will survive this upcoming crisis uh, by making a recipe that I eat like normally and uh, many Russians eat as well this recipe will be a buckwheat recipe. I know that some of you bought buckwheat after my video on grains in Russia. So guys, you have the chance to cook it now. So let's start. And first of all, let's define what type of buckwheat um, you will need for this recipe. So here I have uh, a buckwheat that is standard in Russia. It's um, you can see it's a, br a brown buckwheat and um, it's brown because it was toasted and uh, the other type is green buckwheat which is uh, raw buckwheat and I suppose that you can buy raw buckwheat in your stores um, frankly speaking I don't know if uh, my recipe will do with the, uh, green buckwheat but you can try of course uh, but in Russia, uh, standard regular buckwheat is this toasted brown buckwheat. So for this recipe we will need buckwheat, uh, carrots, onions, uh, chicken thighs. You can use any meat that you that you like, and some spices. So as for the measurings, I do everything by eye. So first of all, we will have to cut onions and grate carrots. So let's do the cutting. And we will have to grate our carrots here. So now our vegetables are prepared and now we are preparing chicken. I have chicken thighs and I will have to make um, small pieces, small chunks, like this, this size, or even less. And as soon as I begin cutting meat, our mota is here asking for more. Do you, do you, do you hear her? Yeah, mota. Yeah. But you know, I will not give uh, chicken to her because she doesn't eat any food. She only asks for chicken, fish, uh, meat, and that's it. She doesn't eat normal cat food that we give to her. Mota. And she has now plenty of food. Twelve seconds later. Mota. So, we did our preparation and now it's cooking time. So, first of all, we have to fry our chicken. For this, I use vegetable oil. Thank you. 
Meanwhile, we will have to rinse our buckwheat because uh, it may not be very clean. So you have to clean it. You will have to do it twice or even three times or even four. So you can see that the water is not very clean. So you can see. So we will have to wash it till it clean. So now the water is uh, clean and we are okay. Now we add our vegetables. We have to mix it together with meat and do a little bit more frying. I think I need more vegetable oil, so I add a little bit more. So if you eat salt, you can add some salt. Now we add some spices. So I don't know what spices my mom has here. So I think it's a mix. She mixed some spices together. And now we are adding our buckwheat, our cleaned buckwheat. So we are mixing everything together and leaving it for about three minutes like this. And now we are pouring water. So we need uh, the level of water enough to cover, only cover our contents, ingredients. So like this, like this. And now we will have to cover it with a lid. and to cook it till a buckwheat will will cook so now our water is gone and our buckwheat with meat and vegetables is ready so, my dear friends, let's have a try. And by the way, uh, you can also leave your buckwheat under the lid for more, for five minutes more. 
or seven minutes more that will um, give give it like more time to cook without uh, the fire so my dear friends as I told you in my video on grains buckwheat is very very good for your health uh, unless you have such uh, diseases as diabetes and some uh, some uh, stomach diseases you have to consult your doctor or at least Google or just try a little bit and uh, just uh, see what you will have in, in the result is it good for you or not so basically for healthy people buckwheat is a very very healthy food so uh, let's try this mm. nice very good for me and my dear friends if you are a vegetarian so you can skip this step with meat and cook it just with vegetables just with carrots and onions and that will be very good too so this recipe both for for those who eat meat and for those who don't eat meat so basically it's for everyone <laughs> so um, I hope that with the sanctions that we are facing now uh, we still uh, will be able to get to buy buckwheat in stores and at least chicken but I don't know uh, last week all, all the week last week um, in my store which is near my apartment building there were no meat like there were no chicken there were no um, oh I forgot Indica. So, and um, I don't know. <laughs> I hope for the best. But of course, um, the tough times are coming, really. Mm. Very good. So, my dear friends, those who bought buckwheat already you can try this dish right now and those who didn't buy buckwheat you have a chance to and to try it too so my dear friends I think uh, we will um, say goodbye to each other for now I really hope that I will be able to upload this video and the videos to come that they will not ban YouTube. I really hope. Mota got chicken. Now Mota will get some fish. Mota is eating very nice. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that PayPal doesn't work in Russia anymore, so please don't send me money because soon I will not be able to to transfer it to my account bank account so goodbye